Hi everybody, I'm Paul. Uh, I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial on how I made a phone charger, uh, phone stand and charger. Um, and I hope you like it. Let's we'll start with the problem statement. The problem statement is, I had this. I won't say who it's from. Um, it was a great phone charger. And they even have different sizes. But I got a new phone, and guess what? It didn't fit. What am I going to do about it? So let's make one instead. Head on over to Tinkercad. Let's see. And make this. So how did I make this? So I select this, ungroup. And you can see that there's two other blocks here that are cutting holes out of it. And you'll see this is the slot. So how did I figure out how big to make this? I'm going to move it back to the angle that it was. And... That is 14 millimeters, so I'm working in millimeters here. Um, how did I get the 14 millimeters? Well, handy dandy, dandy micrometer. Put the phone in, measure the base. It's about, give or take, there's different places I measured. This is like 13, 12, give it a little extra space, kind of moved it out and decided 14 was gonna be the answer. So we'll go back to 14 and then merge those two together. Cool. So what does that get me? Well, it gets me this for a 3D print. That's pretty neat. Looks neat. I love it. Works great. But we're not done yet. Because you know what would be really cool? Is if there's a charger in the bottom of that. That's something that this thing doesn't have. So what are we going to do? And now... Go back into Tinkercad, make a copy. Here's the next product. This is the end version, but I'm gonna go in reverse so you can see how I did it. So again, ungroup, same thing as before. Now I have this object to place in it. If we hide this, you can see what this object actually is. Hide my logo too, don't need that. Um, what is this? I'm glad you asked. It's this thing, what is this? That's a USB plug that adapter, you plug it into there. But now, we want to put it into this thing. How do we do that? Well, it's not going to fit, right? It needs to it needs to have the right dimensions. So that's when we come back into here, and I've measured all of these dimensions with the micrometer, in the same way that I did the, did the phone. So I show all those pieces again, add this to this group, now we got a nice hole in the middle. So what does that get me? Well, that got me this, which is still pretty cool. But the problem with this is, as you can see, I didn't want that hole there. And I didn't want this extra space at the bottom. This is the reality. When you print stuff, you can design it. But until you print it, you just don't quite know. So you can see here, even with the holes. See the holes that's cut through it? It was there a second ago. Yeah, you can kind of see. Too thin. So what do we do? Well, take the box, expand it a little bit more, and then we get this. Another version. The only problem with this, I couldn't squeeze this down. Not with what was printed. Um, I had to cut out, cut out a spot. So cut out the spot. Handy dandy micrometer. Measure the new spot open up the diagram so that I open up the open up the block in the um, in Tinkercad so that it's a little bit bigger I'm running out of filament at this point so now let's print this <laughs> see if this works this works change my filament to a different color and this is what I get perfect that's exactly what we wanted so just to walk you through the process started with this print then modified it at this one modified it again started to run out print this one all of those you get that one and how does this work well you take this now you insert it in let's see if we can do this quickly pop this into the side and i think that's it i think we're in business let's see Let's try it out. Boom. Everything's charged. Isn't that cool? 
That's just cool. I love that. Anyway, I didn't show anything about the 3D printing. That's in the background. That'll be for another time. But I thought this was still pretty cool to show. Um, I've got links in the comments that show you how to get to the files that I started with. So if you want to print your own, you can. Um, and I've got a link to a more detailed story. So if you want to have a few more instructions about what the process looked like. Um, otherwise, let me know. Comment. Let me know what you think. Take care.